Today I'm in my kitchen as you can see, but I'm actually heading out to a local airfield here. So as some of you who have been following this channel already know since I've announced that I'm looking to purchase a small airplane, I've gotten a ton of suggestions from you guys. Generally speaking, the process has been going well, but I would say that a lot of what I've been doing, uh, a lot of the research and things like that are done online. And today I'm gonna take it offline. Uh, so I'm gonna go visit a local airport, see what airplanes are abandoned out there and see uh, maybe somebody is looking to sell their aircraft. More importantly, you guys have suggested to me to look into flying clubs. And I'll be honest, I never thought about this, or I did, but it's been in the back of my mind, really, because uh, when I look at the flying clubs that are close to me, a lot of it are really flight schools. But today, I'm going to go check one out and just ask a few questions and see if perhaps that could be an option for me, okay? Let's go. Walking to the to the flight school, just want you guys to see how big this airfield is. Actually, it's it's one of the busiest in the state of Georgia. And you can see here, it goes speedy. It has a lot of jet-like action here, and there are quite a few uh, flight schools out here. But anyway. Let's see if this could be home. And today I'm actually heading to, I might as well give them a plug. I'm heading to uh, Skybound. I believe it's what it's called. Believe it or not, when I first moved here to the state of Georgia, this is one of the first schools that was recommended to me. I didn't even know that they had a, uh, a flying club. It's a flight school, but apparently there's a, there's a flying club attached to it, but We'll see. Let's go. I'll leave the camera on. Hello. I'm good. How are you? Yes. I'm here to inquire about your uh, flying club membership rate. Mm -hmm. um, so I understand it's a flight school, but you also have uh, like members or club rates. Yeah, so this is the club paperwork, and this is our fleet pricing on the front, our instructor pricing on the back. Okay. Um, the way the club works is it's three twenty-five to join for the first year, and it's the annual dues of two seventy-five plus a fifty-dollar enrollment fee, and it's good for one year. Um, and it is a one-year commitment, so you want to think about it before you just say, hey, okay. here's my money. Okay. After the first year, you can either choose to go monthly at $25 a month or renew for another year at $275. And I'll look at your fleet here. Uh, and to be more precise, honestly, I'm looking to fly a Piper Cherokee. Okay. Now, how I saw on your website, I think you have one or two of those. And how available is that airplane? Is it one that gets scheduled does, a lot or um, she does get booked up pretty quickly because she is the cheapest in the fleet so now i see three different rental fees 95 is prepaid some if you like pay a bunch at a time so yeah so the you have to walk in and then the club okay and then uh -huh. the prepay is only available for our club members okay you're just pre-buying flight time with two thousand dollar increments oh wow okay so but the normal club rate is a hundred dollars an hour mm -hmm. that's the discount you're getting as a as yeah. a club member mm -hmm. okay uh and now in terms of your rentals say i is there like a limit to how or is there a, a minimum amount of hours or days say i wanted to take the airplane for a weekend or whatever um is there or if i just wanted to take it for one day come back after i don't know three four hours what are the rules around that okay there are no minimums right. but okay. nobody has ever abused it so right i tell right. everybody in the seven years that i've been here and the, i think we're on our 11th year in business
business. Okay. Um, nobody's abused it, so we're still good on no minimums. I try to tell everybody, please be courteous and right, don't right. just hop over to the next airport and keep it there for a week. Which of your fleet gets booked the least? Out of all this aircraft, um, the least is probably um, the multi-engine or yeah, I would uh, the decathlon. That. I mean, okay. <clears throat> but uh, it kind of depends on what day you're looking at the schedule. <laughs> right? How I'm guessing you're more busy during the weekends. Uh, or... We tend to stay busy because we're open seven days a week. Oh. Um, once you're um, in the system and everything, we have a lockbox directly up under the mailbox there. That way you have access. Okay, guys. So, as you can, I don't know. I hope you guys were able to, to listen in um, some of the questions I was asking. And they told me that the airplane that, I would, that I'm looking to run, which is the Piper Cherokee, uh, they only have one in the fleet, but they have other later models like the Archer, uh, which costs about 50% more per hour. But again... I don't know if you cut the part where she said that uh, because the airplane goes faster, so your your cost per mile may be lower or about the same. So that's a math that I need to do myself. But as you can see, the numbers are 325 for the year, and then you get uh, a good amount of discount uh, per hour when you rent any of the airplanes that they have uh, in the fleet. And again, so far, based on the reviews that I've read about this flying school slash flying club, uh, it's been decently good for the most part. And it's really ran uh, or it's run as like a mom and pop shop. It's a very small uh, private business. And a lot of people have said really good things about them. So I'm going to go home, <laughs> do the math, and I'll probably check out some other uh, flight clubs either out here or at another local airport just to compare the numbers and see if this is a viable option. But again, if you guys, if you're in the same shoes that I am in right now, that I'm looking just to, all I wanna do is fly, man. I just wanna get back in the cockpit uh, and I'm, this is an option. Either I join a flying club, which is, I guess, more affordable than buying an airplane. Uh, so, and that's why I'm considering doing this. But I don't know yet. I'll go home, put the numbers together and do the math, see if it's, if it's worth it. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Hey, also, I'm on Patreon. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Peace.